<laughs> oh, this is a nice jump. <laughs> push it, push it, push it. Go, go, go. Wow, we are so Wait, here, go like stuck. This. <laughs> oh, this is what I did this morning. <laughs> Last week, I sailed 300 nautical miles from Grenada to the BVI to catch up with some friends during the Odyssey Festival, hosted by Andy with Ocean Cruisers Podcast. Living on the boat with all the maintenance and work can get a little tiring at times, and in the upcoming weeks, I'm finally able to have some fun and remind myself why I love being out here. It's flotilla day, or we don't really know what's going to be going on with the weather with the wind, but we're all getting together. All about to move over to the Flotilla Island. We're going to Bitter End Yacht Club. So we're going to Virgin Gorda. That's where the Flotilla's gonna be. I'm in port right now. Pretty swelly, so I'm just getting everything that I had out drying and putting everything away. And the wind's gonna be like directly in our face, so maybe some tacking. It's gonna be a good day. He goes and hides in there, and the water splashes up from the back, and he gets soaked. <laughs> You're a mess. Um, but I just picked up a mooring ball, like the best pickup I've ever done. I'm so proud of myself. Um, we're all here. Stick my 
Ricardo can say it. I'll try. We're about to raise his reputation. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna make you proud. Now look at her. Can you tell that she just came from the boat yard? Like, look. Primer paint, what is that? Is that epoxy? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Marine tech, something like that. Okay, so it's a YCA party. We're about to go crash the party on the beach. Let's go. Oh shoot, they're already doing Hobie Cats. We're gonna go do beer can Hobie Cat races. I have no idea how to it? sail a Hobie. Oh, oh. <laughs> Party. <laughs> That's me right there. Here, I have two hats I can give away. The rest I have. No problem. There okay. you go. Thank you, guys. Okay. Well, we'll. <laughs> that looks pretty good. <laughs> have fun. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
seen in days. I just, so I was killing Yeah, you. right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday was a lot of fun and uh, we were gonna stay here another night just go anchor but we've just gotten roped into a regatta it's downwind which means my mattress won't get soaked and i still have to steer but it's only a couple miles uh, so i'm getting the boat ready and i'm not gonna race but we're gonna go. I don't think I'm gonna use my mane either. I've become a lazy sailor. So we're all gonna go and do the thing. Got told the anchorage, they're like half a mile away from me. It is super swelly right in the front, so I brought in the sail and we're gonna anchor, Spirit Animal and I are gonna anchor over in this one. Hopefully, the swell isn't as bad, but lots of traffic. So. Pretty rainy day. Hopefully, the sun will come out, otherwise, we'll probably be doing a lot of work. Morning. Is your water off? Good morning. Okay, we'll turn that inverter on. Like you happy? I think I'm spoiling him a bit. It's like actually cold. We took a much needed break yesterday. Um, we sailed over here and then it was windy. It was windy and rainy so we watched movies until 8. Down. Up. Okay. We went to pull anchor and my windlass went out on me. So someone's over here helping. Someone. <laughs> Spirit animal at your service. <laughs> They're here at convenient times usually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one. The windless issue ended up being pretty minor, but I'm always grateful for friends lending an extra hand to help troubleshoot. It's not too easy to use a multimeter while also pressing a button somewhere else on the boat. A few minutes later, we raised anchor and moved on to continue exploring the British Virgin Islands. <laughs> 